and welcome back. And today we, I am going to be doing a tier list of all of the 118th scale BOTM figures. So, yeah. Like I said, only 118th scale. I'm not going to do any of the 1/6th or 135th scale figures just because I'm not as familiar with them. And then this video would take way too long. So, anyways, let's get started. First of all, with the Akilabator. I don't... It hasn't come out yet, so I don't know exactly. So I'm just mainly going to be judging what it looks like. And it definitely looks pretty good. Like, I don't know. I like it. I don't know. I guess... Mm. Maybe B. Just to note, also, if I put a figure in F tier, let's say, that doesn't mean it's a horrible figure. It's just not as good. A BOTM figure in F tier is probably on par with, like, the human collection and Carnotaurus or better type thing. B. It's good enough. Anyways, Alberta Ceratops. This one I do really like. I don't. I don't know. I would like to get it, but I don't think I'll have the money. Definitely, it's a cool one. It's cool colors. Um, I'll put an A tier. Albertosaurus. I love. Uh, I love the Alberto. I think I would like to get it again. Probably never gonna get because it's $140. And then we got the Gorgo, plus, there's other things like the Allosaurus coming up for Cyberzoic. They're like expensive, and I want so probably would never get, but I do like definitely an A tier Electrosaurus. Hmm, I don't know, I guess I do like it for sure. I don't know, for some reason I don't like this image of it. I don't know, I don't like the pose. Or, I don't know, definitely A tier. Aoife Ceratops? I actually haven't seen too many reviews. Right, as of this time, I only have the Gorgosaurus. So, for now, my judgment is based on how good they look to me, and then... All the reviews I've seen. What is Spino Dude's opinion? Bionicle Source's opinion? I don't know, just from what I know from reviews from people like Spino Dude, Bionicle Source, Andy's Dance Reviews, Raptor Attack, um, Daniel Scream Reviews. But, Aphisotops, from what it looks like, I like it. So, probably, mm, I'll put it there. Maybe Diablosotopsis. I guess at this time, they would go in S tier, kind of because of the babies. Though, thinking about in the future, if BOT, when BOTM releases the baby Cosmosaurus and Triceratopsis, they could go down because they don't have that uniqueness. But right now, they're going to go here. Is, like I was just talking about with... Um, once I have some more BOTM figures, I'll definitely make a new video of this. Maybe by, like, end of 2024 when the first wave of Cyberzoic is out. Vista Hovers or S tier. It looks so good. I, I've heard someone in my comment section once said that it's a planned and uninspired color. Eh, maybe you could say it's uninspired. It's simple compared to, um, Vayne's Choice Medusa Ceratops or, like, well, actually, I guess the Taurosaurus does kind of simple colors. But, it is still awesome and stunning. Like, sometimes BOTM's pictures don't give it justice. If you see it actually in a great pose, like just the blue eye standing out, you'll you'll fall in love with it. Uh, so anyway... Baby Centrosaurus. Well, I can't have baby, but juvenile. This one, it's okay. It's, 
Ain't up land. It's just meh. It's a it's a BOTM figure, but just a meh BOTM figure. I would think about getting it just to do the pose in the BOTM Gorgo's collector card. Just like buy that and then put in a pose like this, cause you know from the Creed Beast preview it is possible to get the Gorgo doing that pose. But anyways, the adult Centrosaurus. This is one I definitely want, or like I would like. And technically would make sense to get, because big factor when I buy BOTM figures is <laughs> what can I pose it with? Because it's one thing just having, um, I don't know, an, a Carnotaurus. But <sighs> really you can't pose it with, or like you could in the Jurassic World universe. But there ain't other species, like Carnotaurus, at least from what Wikipedia says, we have no identified other species from its formation. So it's not like you can pose it with some other species from there. And so I think I would like it, and Bionicle Source really likes it. I would like to get it, but again, $90 I don't have. Next up, Chasmosaurus. I really want this one. I'm hopefully going to get it. It's on the pre-order for the reissue. I really want it. Plus, even then, what would be really nice, I, I want for a figure. And then, actually, basically, if you want people to notice your BOTM, get this guy. Because I've tested it with my brother and sister, like, and, and like, Bionicle sources. I was watching a collection update. So, what was the first thing they noticed <laughs> in the picture? And it was like, this guy. So, I mean, this is kind of weird and scripted. But, like, I, not only do I want it as an awesome figure, but I also want it. Because then I can put on my shelf and then people will notice my BOTM. Because BOTM is awesome. If a BOTM Taurosaurus's colors weren't <laughs> crazy enough, hopefully then they'll notice my BOTM. My favorite things in the universe. Then the Displetosaurus. This is one I would like and is a nice thing. Actually, if, I, if you want to have a... Oh, I guess this is specifically Display Source Taurus, I think. I don't remember off the top of my head, but... I do want it. It's a good figure. It's just... Gorgosaurus. Albertosaurus. Then, if you don't... If you decide those, for some reason, aren't your favorite of them, well, then there's also the Tarvosaurus. It's for that body size that all came out at the same time, and it kind of got overshadowed. But still, it's a good figure. <sighs> so I guess the Electrosaurus does have the best body size, which actually, you should probably move this around a bit. <sighs> it's like even with Alberto, I guess. Dabbleceratops, yes. Actually, no, I need a reorder up here. The Diabloceratops is definitely one that I like. It's got really cool coloring, a good body size, and it's just a nice figure. Overall, so, yeah, anyways, Dino Riders T Rex. Eh, it's a normal T Rex with probably less good colors. It's... Top of C tier. The this drome source. I don't know. There's something about this drome. I guess maybe it's just that image. I don't know. Um, let's see here. Yes, the Mesozoic. One, ten. Romeo. I don't know, mate. Oh, yeah, 
must just be that image. Okay. Okay, there you go up. I guess it must just. And then, yeah, here's the other one. I think I like this one better. The Fane's Choice one. Which, again, I'm so happy they made another wave of these small one Like, David Silva. If somehow, for some reason, you're watching this, make more of the Raptors 118 scale. And even just, like, make the Dylon 118 scale, make the Pyroraptor, make the, where is it, Sonora Celestes. Yeah, at least those three all 118 scale, please. Like, seriously. I really want them. I would pay you money. Please do it. Anyways, back. Um, I definitely want them both. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that? I don't know. Anyways. Dryptosaurus. From what I hear, it's possibly the best painted figure in the series. I like it. I don't think I'm gonna get because again it's another ninety dollars. Probably end up getting the Cyberzoic one just because it's in Cyberzoic. And that'll probably be my drip to source. I don't know which one I like more. Yeah um hmm. as my opinion or er, yeah it's weird. Sometimes just you don't like the images as much. Like if we search up the Beast of the Mesozoic. Dryptosaurus. It, it looks awesome. It looks really nice. But for some re- Oh, actually. Maybe I shouldn't have made this tier list ranking. Because now my opinions are changing on all, all of them. And now I want them all. But like- I don't know, for some reason, the images BOTM has for their figures makes you not like them. Like, I don't like that image of the Albertosaurus. It doesn't look good there. Not yet. I smell it. I smell it. In other poses, it looks awesome. Why is there so few images of the... Why is there so many few? It's it's just kind of wacky. Anyways, Enosaurus. Mm, yeah, it's definitely just a bad B. It's a awesome figure, just a bad BOTM. It just eh, actually, you know what? I'm getting rid of F tier. There's no BOTM figures that are F tier. Eo Tyrant. Or, yeah, I think its face just is kind of weird. It's, it's, yeah, like, it's a bad BOTM figure, but still a BOTM figure. You Tyrannus. This one I do really like. I don't know. It's either that or the Morris I'm going to get. I think I'm going to be getting the Guanlong, Procerasaurus, that or the Morris. Maybe the Susky Tyrannus, just because I could pose it with the Zuniceratops. Checking, where is the Susky Tyrannus? Oh, there. It's definitely good. I don't know. I feel like... Actually, I'd have to double check. I think there is more things, like, once again, I could pose the Morse with. I don't know of any species that live with the Tyrannus. should probably check Wikipedia or something, but... Still, so... That factors into my reasoning. But I don't know exactly. This packing resource. This one is awesome. I really like it. It's def the other one is good, but this one is definitely better. <clears throat> Maybe not. Eh, I don't know. Then this Toru. Hmm. I don't know. I like, I really like that they have both options. <laughs> they have most unique dinosaur in like history with the Taurosaurus. Like, there's no paleo accurate dinosaurs out there besides BOTM that are like 
straight blue. But, I don't know. I definitely like it. But it's still not that good. It's kind of mediocre. Definitely better than these two, though. Gorgosaurus. S tier, S tier. Um. I don't know. I really love the Gorgosaurus. Like, but yet also, it's my only BOTM figure, so. It's not like compatriotism, it's just. But it's definitely got really nice colors, some nice articulation, of course. It's not as good as, like, change of source or something, but definitely some nice articulation. Again, like, to get any pose that's walking, you need to get a, like, third-party stand. But that's just fine, because I can use those stands for making pterosaurs fly, too. Like this. I don't know, for now, I don't have the best reverser yet, but I'm going to put it in front of the Gorko for now. This trike. Hmm. It's the BOTM Triceratops, just with not as cool colors. So it is. Flan Long, awesome! Hmm. Is it better than the Diablo? Actually, Diablo deserves to go up a bit. And I'll put it like that. The Monoclonius, I don't know, another one, it's another one of those that, from the images you see, aren't that good. But then, I don't know, you watch a review, specifically Bionicle Sources one, and then you're like, this thing is awesome. So I think I'm gonna put it there. B-O-T-M Big Rex, um, looks, uh, I don't know, actually, I might have to move these down a little. Oh no. It's all very close, those BOTM figures. Which actually... <laughs> I don't know. Ranking BOTM can be so... Do you not try to respect? <laughs> this one is another nice one. I... It really gets overlooked. Like, seriously. It's the first of this amazing body size. Yet, no one points out that that, abo that body size is, like, so amazing. Tells a change you saurus. Like, it did get pointed out, but, like, it wasn't made a big deal. Like, it's kind of silly. I definitely like it, though. Probably better than the Big Rex, but... Yeah, I definitely... Like it, and I think I'm gonna get it. Especially since it's on Amazon, so I don't have to pay for shipping. Well, because I have Amazon Prime. Cosmoceratops! Cosmoceratops! In... I think it's gonna pass the Cosmo. I don't know, I might move that down. <laughs> this is so hard to rank BTM. Cosmoceratops, it is really nice. There's just something about it that looks very nice and also something i really love about it is even too it's essentially a childhood memory too because basically i had this old game i played with my brother and sister it was like loving cosmo but like i was like a pet cosmo ceratops and my sister some dog or whatever but like from when i was a kid it was originally but like at one point, I somehow knew that the BOTM Cosmoceratops existed, and then that's kind of how I started imagining that Cosmoceratops named Cosmo, so, like, it's actually, like, my childhood memory of Cosmoceratops, which is kind of cool, but, and, either way, it's an awesome figure. I love Cosmoceratops as a species, it's amazing colors, amazing sculpt, it's awesome. Anyways, the Lynn Raptor. This one, again, another time when BOTM taught me that species exists. I never knew that Lynn Raptor exists. Or maybe I did, but I forgot about it. I don't know. It's definitely good. Probably better than these guys. Yeah, I don't know. Lizonax. It's definitely a good figure. I'm not that interested in it. 
I mainly just want to go pose with the Diabolosaurus, but I don't know. This Medusa is really awesome. I really want, I'm thinking, I want to get it for my brother someday. It's definitely really nice colors and everything, but like, it's just compared to the Fane's Choice one and every other Biotim is it's not as good. Definitely better than those. So. Then Fanny's Choice Medusa Ceratops. It's like, yeah, it's really close up there. Morris Intrepidus. I don't know where to rank the Morris Intrepidus. It's definitely good, <laughs> but how good is the question? I don't know. Eh, you know, I think it's right below the Alberta right now. Nathudoceratops. This is one I do think I want. I don't know if I'm going to get because it's a good figure, but I'm pretty sure it's about the size of the Mattel Nathudoceratops. So I could probably get by with just getting that one, which I want anyways. Though, I think through the same price, but... I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get it, because there's a lot of other Ceratopsians I want, like the Cosmo, Diablo, and Cosmo. And then, the old Bucks Direct source. I don't know. S tier is getting really crowded. Hmm. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm quiet. I'm just trying to think. Why do do I like this figure better than that? Also, if you've made it through 21 minutes of me rambling, I keep 22 now. Thank you. You are a nice subscriber. I'm sure if you weren't subscribed, you probably actually like the content and won't want to subscribe. So subscribe, and like the video, unless I don't know me. Not liking the Enosaurus is a offensive to you, then, then the bloody old buck. I, I don't know. It's, it's so unnecessary. Why? Like, I don't really need red paint on my figure. Do you not realize how good red washable marker looks? Like, if it's a brand new red washable marker, it can look better than fake blood seriously technically i shouldn't put it that low it's weird people like put it all the way down here but if you like this figure it's the same thing just with unnecessary paint that can ruin it so eh, i'm just gonna put it right there this packy It's good, but still not the best. Pentaceratops needs to go up there somewhere. Do I like it better than the... Eh, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just going to put it there now. Procerasa was another one that is I really like, too. It's just awesome, like... It's awesome. <laughs> it looks cool. It looks... I just love its colors. I do hope for Cyberzoic or a fa or for Fan's Choice Tyrannosaurus, which I'm wondering why they haven't made yet. Um, I really do hope they make that old, the old color scheme for it before they change, because that would be really cool to see. And I'd love to have two. Which is another thing. If, for some reason, you're watching this, David Silva, when's the Fane's Choice Tyrannosaurus going to be? If you do Fane's Choice Tyrannosaurus, here's, I want you to, like, repaint the Bista, maybe the Proceratosaurus, um, I know, I know those two, because I really want to see what other colors you could come up with for them. Anyways, this, I don't know, for some reason, I really like this Protoceratops a lot better. Definitely better than the baby Diablos. And I'll put it there. 
other mini than that. Mm, yeah, right there. Can you source sentences? Mm. Actually, I, I swear I didn't put that first row higher. Gallaceratops, I'm surprised people don't like it that much. Like, it, it looks good. What's so bad about it? <laughs> I definitely... I really want to get it to compare it to my Mattel Regalaceratops. But, like, I, I don't know. Shut up. I don't... It's still not really worth it enough, but definitely better than some of these other guys. It doesn't deserve F tier. <laughs> Excuse me, it's surprising I've seen. Cinnamoceratops! I'm grinder. I eat bones. <laughs> that high, at least. <laughs> then sculpt it. Sling. I don't know. It's cool. It's weird. It's scolipus. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. This Diraco. I really like it. But. Yeah, I really like it, but probably can't get two styracos, but I don't know. Susky Terriness is awesome, but really the only reason I'm getting it is for the what you might call it. I think it was the Zuni. <laughs> On to the Stachosaurus. This one is really nice. I was really surprised. Um, back a while ago, I did. A poll series on my channel. What's the best BOTM figure? The Gorge Source ended up winning. But. Mista got second place. But like. I was amazed. Like. I, it. Like. Basically what happened. Is that first. The Bista was winning. So. I just added it. But like. I added it to final bracket. And got second. But Later. After a few more days, more people voted, and this actually surpassed it in votes. Which I like it, but... Uh, I was just surprised about that. Okay, does this Diraco go up that... Eh, oh my word, this is so hard to figure out what BOTM figures you like. It's all so close. Tarposaurus, it looks good, but I do wish it was bigger. Again, unless I find it on a deal on eBay or something... Again, it's... Oh my, I need to make sure the camera... It's another one of those that... Just because $140 and it's not even big enough, I'm not going to get... Like, I... I completely see why it had to be that size. I understand how the market for dinosaur toys works. Like, this thing, exactly, because they're like $140 each. But, like, let's say the body costs $40 to make... If they share it between four toys, just then that's ten dollars for each. Let's say it costs twenty dollars or ten dollars to sculpt a tent head, then it's thirty dollar figure, not like sixty or something. So I see how it saves money, but still, it would have been nice. Tertiphonius. This one, I don't know. This one. Kind of this one I'm actually fine with being so small. Like, this is... Plus, it, then it does end up with one of the best body sizes. So, we'll go right there. Torsos. It's the blueberry. Eh. Yeah. Like Spider Dude said, where are you fi gonna find something, anything like this? Like, where are you gonna find... Um, did I miss some help? A paleoacrate large 118th scale bright blue ceratopsian. Where are you gonna find this anywhere else? It's not perfect, like there's some messed up and things that don't work with the job, but like, hey, I never realized that collector's card was that cool. But like, like, I don't know. Let's look up Taurosaurus.
like BOTM one is blue, but tell me a single other one of these figures that are bright blue other than the BOTM one. Like, oh wow, the Sleep Posture Taurosaurus. How far did we scroll? Um, that far. <laughs> like, yeah, that's so nice about. It. And I, I, I know people don't like that figure, but. And I know, blue is rare, but like, I don't know, look at a macaw. There's blue macaws, which are almost entirely blue. Like, this, it's like, oh, it's a ceratopsian. Well, I don't know, maybe a T-Rex was scared of the color blue or something. I guess Taurus doesn't really exist anymore, but like, still, it's... Not horrible. Some adult triceratops. I don't know. From what I hear, it's it's definitely the worst BOTM figure. Yeah. That's my trike. I love the Toro. I might like the trike a little better. I don't know. I'm just going to do that, and it's super close. Utah Ceratops. This one looks awesome. And it's a good example of what BOTM does to re Still, they need to use part sharing, but, like, make it better. They made the heads different, paint schemes different, then the torso is bigger, and they change the tail. Like, <laughs> they added on to, like, already, basically, changing the colors in the head can make, like, Pat, you wouldn't tell... At least not without close examination that, like, the Sinoceratops, the Pachyrasaurus are the same. But then also they add so much more to me. And I think my phone's running low on battery, so I have to hurry this up. But, eh, eh, ah, no, not that high. There, Utah Raptor. From what I can tell, it looks awesome. And I really want to see what poses I can do with it. Now, for now, I'll go there. Little raptors. Mm. Probably that little blue raptor. And I'll probably end up getting the blue one. Because I want this one for even on the BOTM website. So I think I will get end up get, probably getting the blue or black one. One decent tops. Mm. It's decent. And then Xenoceratops. It's a nice one. I'm just not interested in it. Utahranus. It has its flaws, but it looks good. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't put it in. I go. Like, this looks good. Like, yes, it has its flaws. It has all the things wrong with it. But either way, it looks good. So, yeah. I'm definitely high up there. Mm. <laughs> Glow in the dark, Sunny. I really think the glow in the dark one shouldn't be hated so much. They are just disgustingly horrible. Like they're good. <sighs> Definitely not. It's just they aren't as good as the others. Sunny tops. I know it has its flaws, but it's at least like eight years. I don't know. I'll put it right there for now. So, anyways, he wondered what, how I would rank, this is probably going to change all very soon, but he wondered how I would act. So, 
this this thing is this stand thing is really weird. Wondered how I would rank the UDM figures. Well, now you know. Oh, I put the Diablo above. Eh, well. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video, because otherwise I made this video for nothing, and see you next time.